Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another session of Quick Bits with Fully Hep. In this video, I'm gonna check out a very cool platformer game. That's right, Cool Spot. Now, Cool Spot is a 1993 platformer video game developed by Virgin Games and published by Virgin Interactive for the Mega Drive and the Super Nintendo. The title character is Cool Spot. He's also a mascot for the soft drink brand 7up. Marketing and branding in video games? Hmm. It's not like it's a new thing, right? So in the game you control Cool Spot who's on a mission to save other Cool Spots that are caged and locked up. Is there even a plot to it? Because uh, I can't find any. You control Cool Spot who can jump and attack things by throwing something like a bubbles at him, like a soda bubble. You can throw soda bubbles in any direction. It's funny how soda bubbles can heal things. So there's really only two buttons, jump and attack. Spot can also cling to things or climb things. In order to rescue the other Cool Spot that's locked up in a cage in the mission, you need to collect a certain number of spots that's placed around the level. There's also a time limit for each level and the game has no save feature but there's checkpoints. The location for the game is also pretty cool, you know, he's got sunglasses so he's fighting enemies on the beach or the sand or even on a pier. It does take a little bit of getting used to to control cool spot and shoot in the directions that the game allows you. The level difficulty is actually pretty good, it is hard, it's not that easy. In terms of graphics and the overall look of the game, I really like it. Spot looks suave and cool, the setting is really awesome, even the enemies are also kind of great in a way. Enemies such as crabs, mosquitoes, selfish, make it kind of funny. I think this game is pretty cool so make sure you check it out guys. It's nothing revolutionizing in terms of gameplay, it's just a standard platformer really. It's a game that you can play and chill for a little bit and also checking out its aesthetics is pretty cool. It also has a sequel on a Sega Saturn called Spot Goes to Hollywood. The graphics are changed and more 3D like. Check this game out and then you can check out its sequel if you're cool enough to. Till then, see us.